Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. I rode all the way out here, uh, because I didn't have a close fast travel point, so I saved you guys at that time, so we are already here. Let's hop off and let's talk to Ermion. Mad, woman. Mad, I say. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea. Near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Quickly! Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Alright, time to haul ass to catch up to Jennifer since she took off without us. Can I ride Roach? Roach! Roach, buddy! Buddy, come here. You might as well ride Roach. Alright. There we go. Great. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Get up, get up, get up! Oh god, I can't see, I can't see. Die. Stupid ass foglets. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yana. I saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. Alright, it's already selected. Okay. I'm not even clicking a button that attacks. I don't even know what the game is talking about. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. 
And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Okay. Let's go, Yennefer. I need you to... Let's, let's move here. You got what now, stupid you ass moglet. F you. Die! Don the mask. Watch out! What the hell? What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Okay. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. So, no, I'm not supposed to put the mask. I think the mask. I just need to well, go up here. Ready? Use. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Oh my God! Stupid foglets. F you. Okay, we need to find the tree. Where is that? Down here? Come on. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else! Everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless! It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. The vision he went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? 
I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. So that's good, we can teleport with her, save some time. I'm kinda drawing a blank on what we're where we're go Quite Oh, I know where we're going. I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Yeah, I rem this is the uh this is the part with the werewolf and what's his what's his shit, I don't remember his name. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Oh, and what <clears throat> Did they I really follow her to Lof Lofoten, other than I just came with her to Lofoten? Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the Elder struck him from the Saga of Ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the Wild Hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the Garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvag? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm hmm know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. 
Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morgbarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Kneel before the goddess. All right. Pay her homage. Let's go look for. Horgan. Let's go or not look for. Let's go to hey, the garden. Geralt. Come back. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. Roach, what are you doing? Okay, one of the to be nicer right. sometimes. Let's go, let's get to the garden, get this going. I kind of want to finish this up in this episode. I really. This quest is. I guess it serves a point, but it's. It's a lot of work for a lot of nothing. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. Shank. Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. So I think I remember how Craven to do Craven was this. here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. See, that's like why I choose Yennefer when I play through this, because she actually wants my ass. Okay, I think... Okay, I'm gonna kill these wolves. Come here, wolves. Okay, what if I just come over here and just skip that? Okay, then... Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Okay. I still don't really get how this works. I just pull them until it works. Oh, wow. Wow. That's all you have to do? You pull 
the one far to the right first, and then you pull the one to the left. Who knew it was that easy? God, I'm stupid. I've been I all I did before was just jack around until I finally got it. Alright. So what if I just come over here and hop down this well? Roots. So I'm right under Yen. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Okay, so this does work. You can just skip. It's kind of cheap as shit, but hey, it works. Here he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. So you can literally skip like that whole part. That That's interesting. Oof, putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain! Selene, Selene, Davidar! Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I... We're looking for Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise! They cursed me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell! Oh, almost! Drowned.
Don't stare. Help me. Help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where... where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how did I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help... help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. So I guess you that really don't have the mask. option to get out of this. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Oops, I got cut on the tape. Wait, where's the door? Here it is. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them. Let's go. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off, but the cruel sea swallowed him. <sighs> Close. Eh, hey, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? I'd rather not talk about myself. Why's that? Someone might come looking for me. I wouldn't want to cause you any trouble. It's too late for Skjall. What? He's head over heels for you, girl. 
sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master? Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy scow? Well, he seems nice. Oh. oh, my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over, and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I'm sorry, but I really must go. Thank you once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think there's any purpose to actually jump. I don't even know how to get out of here. It's so confusing. I... Um, I want this. All right, let's go ahead and get out. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Tell her to take the water. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Except to mention that you fancy me. What? But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. You're right. I hope to come back here one day. We can finish our conversation then. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> I didn't intend it to. I'll take Njord. You can ride Greyback. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. Yeah, the Wild Hunt's real afraid of him, yep. Yep, Wild Hunt, run in fear. Oh, these guys take three hits. I'm surprised. New series cheap ability. Finish this up. Oh shit. No, no, I'm not even swinging at anybody. Oh shit, you know, usually like it locks on. Oh, you ass. You little douche McGruber. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. No, you little shit. You know who you've crossed. Oh shit, I didn't hold it long enough. Oh, you dick! Right, silly! Don't look back! Alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! Go, Siri, go! I'm stuck on the... I'm stuck on the... Go, go, go! What? What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok! The world's end! No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. 
Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go. Bro, I can take care of myself. I don't need your ass to save Watch me. Out! Right, silly! Don't look back! Yes, I'm so afraid of the wild hunt that I was just literally destroying Faster! five seconds ago. Faster, they're catching up! I wonder how long you can sit there and fight the wild hunt. I should try that the next time. I should just sit there and continue to fight him and see how long it, you can fight him before, you know, either there's just way too many and you just die or you beat him. I don't know if you can beat him. That'd be it'd be interesting to see. It'd be really interesting to see if you could beat him. All right, I think we're there. Yeah, here we go. The horse ran- okay good, I was gonna say the horse ran out of stamina. Really? Right at a point where there wasn't any enemies. Ugh. Okay, come on, Lotus in. What? What became of that creature? Where is he? <laughs> what? I saw him and us. But he sold him. To whom? No. No. Be gone. It's uh, to tell them. Clear my name. <laughs> Be gone, I say. <laughs> Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We've every right to be furious. Furious! And you. You will pay for this. We had no choice. 
we'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen. Local ruler, a baron, keeps him at his castle. Told me he won him in a card game in Novigrad. You must go and get the creature. I don't know. Buy him. Kidnap him. Won't be necessary. Baron owes me a favor. A big one. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me. Do you... No, never mind. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed a little bit longer of one than we uh, have been having. So I hope you guys did enjoy a little bit of a longer episode. A lot of dialogue and a lot of cutscenes involved in this episode. But there was some gameplay. So, uh, uh, the fast skip of this, because this is usually a two-parter 35 minute plus episodes, I think, usually. Uh, and I completed it in 144 minutes. So uh, yeah, I will catch you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.